So now we got Planet. This is from Blue Orange Ga uh, Blue Orange Hot Games Cool Planet. So the names on the box are Erdis Solinskas and Sabrina Miramon. So this is uh, ages eight up, two to four players, 30 minutes. And yes, I put my thumb where the price tag is because there's no guarantee that's the price now or where you are. So I don't, there's no need to compare prices. I received it as a gift. Shh. So I shouldn't know how much it costs, the gift giver. But it is what it is. <laughs> Let's get this opened up. Of course, a full sleeve of plastic wrap around the outer edge, as most games do. Uh, it does give you a quick rundown of components. Uh, you should see probably a rule book for globe, hexagonal system pieces. 50 tiles, 45 I assume cards, and then like five other cards in one chip or some sort right here. Hard to tell, but it, it tries to tell you. And it's cool to show, see right here that it's kind of trying to show off. Hey, it uses a magnet, which is something you don't see in many games. And, just, and the way they've done this one, it was a really cool concept. So I, that's why I wanted to get my hands on a copy. So first, of course, we have our rule book. Uh, well, rule books, because it appears there's rules in multiple languages. Uh, so we have our English. We have our, I believe, French, and I believe is that supposed to be Spanish. I don't know my my flags well enough, but doing a quick look at the words, I think that's Spanish. Uh, that's, I think that's the flag, a Spanish flag. You can correct me if I'm wrong. I'm bad. I'm sorry. I, sh I, sh I should have looked up geography stuff before I opened the planet game. But it is what it is. So the two I can't read aside. Uh, uh, cool to see the panda on it. Always a lovely animal to see in games. Two to four players, ages eight and up, about 30 minutes. Introduction, a world is taking shape in the palm of your hands. Spread your mountain ranges and your deserts, expand your forests, oceans, and glaciers. Strategically position your continents to form hospitable environments for animal life to develop and try to create the most populated planet. So then goes on to talk about the object of the game, uh, how to set up the game on the table, how to lay out all the cards and tiles, goes through turn order, uh, with some visual stuff going on, explaining some of the other cards, uh, what happens during certain turns and onward uh, with as life forms on your planet, what happens if there's a draw or a tie essentially, uh, end of game, variations to play. It's a really short little book four total pages so it should be very straightforward especially if it's a 30 minute game of course you don't see as many 30 minute games aren't such a large box that is interesting to see first thing opened um brand new out of the box things have already fallen out of the insert so we'll see if it can pass the the shake chest later uh shake test later Move all these pieces that should be in the insert. It looks like it should be a good good insert. So I wonder why so many pieces are out. Or unless when it got packed into the box, it just wasn't put in the insert correctly. And that would be a manufacturing issue and not an insert issue. So that's something we can verify. So first off, we have four of these. Uh, don't want to call them globes because they're not fully round in there. But they're 
these are plastic um you can almost feel that's obviously like a that's multiple pieces because these are supposed to be magnets so there's probably some metal inset into this plastic because these are magnetized on the back so they catch onto that which we'll show off more in a minute of course, there's four of those right here in the in the box. We're gonna have a deck of cards and quite a few of these tiles. So I'll get the tiles out and ready to look at. A little switch camera view. Let's go to this view. Okay. So I assume this is gonna be the first player marker. Rounded, two-sided, uh, simple cardboard. Uh, very, the art is basically what you see on the front of the box. Very straightforward, simple, nothing special, but easy to see across the table to verify who is first player. Sorry about that. Uh, I have some noisy neighbors. Yeah, no fault of their own. They don't know what I'm doing. We don't need to listen to their conversation, of course. I'll try to speak over them. And make a bit of noise. Keep talking until they're done. And then I can move on. That's the life of streaming. It's You never know what's going to happen outside. Okay, so now that we, we're not as loud out there, and I can move on. Uh, the deck of cards, very loose plastic. You can tell immediately because it's colored that it has a quick pull tear line in it. So all you have to do is find the beginning, which typically is on the side. You can see it's sticking up just a hair right there. If you grab it correctly, pull and roll. Plastic is going to come right off, no issue. Oh, interesting. Well, hopefully that's not... Is that all the cards or just the top one or two? That's a couple of the cards. Just... Okay, so let's set aside the different types of cards real quick and then we'll go over them. Even though I don't know what they are. We'll just look at the different looks of them. Uh, we have blue, it looks like just ocean in general. Um, what I was noticing a second ago, you may or may not see it on camera. Uh, yeah, kind of right there. That uh, that top corner, see there was a little nip indentations. That's only on one or two of these cards on one side of the deck. So I wonder if, I kind of think the way the magnets fell or thrown into this box. They created a pressure against the card face and, and indented them. Fortunately, it's not too much. It's, yeah, I can feel it, but it's not detrimental. Across the table, upside down, not super obvious. So don't know how critical it is to the game. I'm not one to send a whole game back and complain too much, so I'm not gonna worry about it. So we have the blue oceans. Looks like forestry, desert, uh, potentially mountains, and snowy regions, I would assume. Um, I don't know how these numbers relate. Maybe it's the number of tiles you have on your overall system. Because these are do These are 12 sided. Yeah, these are 12 sided. I was about to say they're 10 sided, but they're 12 sided. And I think based on how many sides match a certain type of habitat per se, you score so many points. Because uh, during the game, in certain ways, you are adding these tiles, which are the magnetic tiles on the back side. So it looks like they've glued a very thin magnet, kind of like a fridge magnet, onto the back of a cardboard tile or token or chip, whatever term you'd prefer to use. 
these are of various habitat colors from the waters to the forest to dry muddy mountain and to the sand and let me find one to these snowy banks and peaks so all of these have very simple artwork and different variations and numerations of the habitats within them uh, so it looks like they're split within the from coming from the five sides so there's I'm not gonna say there's five habitats on one tile but you have a potential for a good variation kind of like you have three one one or where's another interesting split of them or we have like a two two one so just there's a lot of possibilities on how they can split between the different habitats like um, looks like the majority of these are like three one one two two one there's a three two and a four one so there's not guaranteed to see three habitats um, I wouldn't be surprised if I see some that are all one solid habitat or try to show them see if I can find any of that or uh, no I don't see any that are single habitat or all of that or like four or five habitats but there's probably a reason for that because I don't know the rules to the game so I don't understand maybe you're forced to always set same habitats next to each other so you can't play uh, the snow next to the forest but you could turn it and set them like this onto your globe so they spread around then you end up having to find the brown white setup kind of potentially fitting that one onto your globe around it so, so building out your globe and how they match up I believe is kind of how it plays but like I said I've not read the rules I don't know start fitting these back into the insert and then we'll look at the cards and then we'll be nearing the end of our stream for the day and we'll find someone we can raid into potentially depending on who's here and who else is streaming today Go say hi to someone. So fit those down into the insert. So the way the insert seems to fit everything is straightforward and it wouldn't be bad if all those pieces had been strung back to the side next to the cards at the, when I opened it. Okay, so the back of these cards, again, the same artwork like the first player tile at the front of the, the box. You're seeing that same earth. Um, uh, we got so it looks like we got habitats where life can be formed. Uh, it looks like seal. Uh, uh, ooh, what's the name of that? Is that like a? That's not a bobcat. That's a snow leopard. Something else. Caribou. Uh, normal. Okay, so we got some other kind of like a bighorn sheep. Vultures of sorts. Uh, well, I could say that's a prairie dog, but it may not be because it's possibly aired. We've got alpaca or llamas, scorpions in the desert. Uh, what's that? A fox like cat. I've seen those before on shows. Uh, kind of like a coyote of sorts. Animal like deer. Got squirrels. And Raccoons, a badger, owl, clownfish, sharks, seahorse, uh, jellyfish. Uh, is that a meek? A penguin, snow fox of some sort, walrus, another type of bighorn sheep. Another type of vulture, it looks like. An ox. Wolf. So that's more. Uh, that's a meerkat. Got our elephant. Camel. Giraffe. Got our red fox. Brown bear. Tiger. Got our regular uh, deer. 
Orca, octopus, uh, tortoise. Let's see, turtle. I'm blanking on stuff right now. Another type of fish. Polar bear, bald eagle, cobra type, panda. And it looks like these require all these had different sp specifications on the cards. Kind of like if some not next to certain things, some things next to other things, or particular shapes. Looks like a very large portion of a globe with a center that might be potentially different. So a lot of different objective and styles. Maybe you have scoring card. Maybe you use these as scoring cards or something. Or just general guides for playing. But there's a space for that right here in the insert along with cards. I'm gonna set these on this other side because they're a different type of use. And then we have a quick moment to do our shake test. So everything's already back in the box. Put our rules back in the box. Let me find my lid. That was a good box fart. I'll give you that. So, this box, the finish of this part of the globe, and the lettering has a different texture to it. You can kind of feel the difference. Kind of a matte versus gloss almost. So, like, they layered the printing on it. Be slightly different. So shake test. So sides upside down, rolling, throwing it in a truck. It's gonna flip upside down, roll it around, going on the shelf sideways. Shelf the wrong way. Going back onto the table. Did it mix up? That's the key question. Or are we okay? So we need more instructions. Yep. So it's a so apparently this insert is not tight enough. No, you didn't it wasn't super extreme with everything moving out. But the first thing I spot is unless you have a full thing of cards. And where did I just drop that? I think I dropped a piece on the floor. Somewhere. Probably rolled find it later. Uh, these cards didn't really move. These did because they're so thin they could easily kind of just shift out sideways. So it does look like they should be stored there. Probably better off putting that right there. So really if that insert had just been a hair taller in the box it would have been so much better because all of these popping out and sliding sideways as you saw or it's the potential maybe just leave a lot of these on the on these cute or uh, the globe pieces that you're assembling maybe i'll find some extra cardboard and shim it up but yeah that's a little frustrating that it's that loose granted i did shake it give it a good shake so you may not care as much but that is my two cents for you.